tragedies are unfortunate things that happen, but there are things in this world that can be eradicated and can prevent certain situations. And if you allow that to fester, if you allow that to continue, then it's no longer a tragedy, but it's just a disease that you refuse to acknowledge. With that shooting that happened yesterday, it just highlighted the consistent, just gross nature of how people look at racism. Unfortunately, eight Asian women have lost their lives, as well as one Hispanic man. And what I what I what I fear is that as an African American man, seeing knowing how the media takes these, how they usually spin these, I just have a bad feeling about it because what what shouldn't happen is performative action and people in power sort of acting as though it's out of their hands and saying let's just throw some police on it that'll fix it if we just you know become more 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 police more more that's not going to fix the problem the problem is acknowledging that you have a racism issue and properly educating yourself listening to those who have suffered through racism and not displaying such vehement ignorance and not excusing it either. Unfortunately, the former president decided to display ignorance, racism, and overall be completely, just be, be a complete ass. He thought it'd be a wonderful idea to blame the Asian American community as a whole in the rhetoric that he spewed regarding coronavirus. Unfortunately, anybody looking for an excuse to be racist found one and has used that to devastating effect against the Asian American community. This shooting isn't the only thing that has happened. There have been old men that have been pushed down for no reason, people getting robbed, and this insidious need for things to return back to normal. Well, this, this is a part of Asian Americans have to wake up and pray that they'll be safe and that people won't blame them for a virus that wasn't their fault. Ultimately, I want to keep it short. I want to keep my peace short about it. Um, I think posting yellow squares is really foolish and not helpful. It just allows people who think that activism or caring is as simple as posting a yellow square. That's not enough activism for me. <laughs> It's not even activism, it's just being lazy and wanting to get credit without actually doing anything. As someone who is who wants to be a good ally, ally, what I have figured out is educating myself and being knowledgeable of these things and being able to call out this behavior and help people understand that this is not the way to act, that's a way to help, as well as resources. And if you are financially able, being able to donate to these resources. So there's a lot that can be done as opposed to performative action that will do nothing. And that's what I don't want. There's another side to this too. Um, the, the sort of odd thing, it's not even odd, I know why it happens, but this gross sort of way that they frame the shooter of which I will not be showing a picture, I will not be naming, just know that yes, he is what you think, a white male. White supremacy is an issue that people keep trying to maintain is definitely not around, but it is. As of right now, the only news that has, that has come out about his motive, officially, has something to do with sexual frustration. I will be quickly clarifying that. Sexual frustration does not give you the right to murder people. That's your own problem. And that's on you to fix. So, there's a misogynistic tint saying, well, if, that, if the man just, you know,
had some fun, he'd be fine. That's, that's wrong. If a man has personal problems that he needs help fixing, he should go to therapy. And the fact that he specifically targeted Asian women on top of that is another layer of fetishization, of which it's another thing. And so... This idea that it is simple as, oh, it's just the world is crazy, it's not. And we can't just keep saying that and doing nothing. It, it's free. Um, Noel Miller once said, it costs you nothing to care. And he's right. Even if you can't donate, it costs you nothing to care. So... Hopefully I kept that short and didn't talk too long, but I'm going to put some sources up on the screen that you can visit. Um, Saspinella, they are a non-binary Asian American, I believe Asian American, who makes really cool art. I'm a fan of them already, but they have a, a thread, a Twitter thread that features, it's a Google Doc, but it features financial aid, and various other resources that you can use to help the Asian American community. Um, there's other sources I think that I've seen that I want to post and I'll probably put them next to me somewhere here. And yeah, I think ultimately that's, that's what needs to be done. Education for those who are not Asian American and assistance and changing infrastructure, changing laws, changing things that can last for generations as opposed to acting as though nothing is wrong. Maybe a new normal would be good if that new normal featured like no discrimination and no harm but trying to return to a normal that really only benefited a very small few white cis males.